Now this, by far, hands down, is the best sounding one in my opinion. All right, so while Ben works on that, Towson, oh. what are we doing today? Tell, tell the channel what are we doing today. Making your car loud. So how are we doing that? More power. What, what'd you say? I said more power. More, more power. power, more power. Uh, I believe you said we are changing out your resonators? Yeah, so uh, the mid pipes. The mid pipes. AWE was actually able to send me over they're non-resonated mid-pipes because there's two different versions, right? You can do the version where you have your stock mid-pipe, basically it's a stock mid-section of the G8X uh, platform exhaust, or you can install their gorgeous non-resonated mid-pipes. And we're gonna do that today because it's gonna make the car open up a little bit more, and it's gonna sound a lot better. And to be honest, the current setup right now on the car is more of like an OEM plus. It's more like an OEM plus look and also a sound. Um, but once you put this on, it's going to add a little bit more spice to the mix. I'm excited for that. And we have the GOAT, Ben. Currently not doing his job. <laughs> we have the GOAT, Ben, and he's going to be helping me install that. Uh, luckily, at Euromotor Performance, we were able to do the pre-cuts already, so that's all set. Um, we're going to put this car up in the air, and I'll capture some B-roll with you guys. All right, so it looks like um, we have it all bolted up. This is the mid pipe, as you can see right over here. Um, but you got Ben over there, Goat, and also Towson for helping out. Um, this is really gonna be a game changer, I think, for the sound. I think I'm really gonna enjoy it in a little bit. We're gonna start it off for the first time and kind of hear how it sounds. Lower my mic and but as you can see, the system's fully paired up. And here we go. Exhaust sounds amazing. We're gonna get some more exhaust clips tomorrow. It's really late. It's about 11:35, and I have to drive all the way back 
<laughs> to Fort Lauderdale. If you guys know where Orlando is, to Fort Lauderdale, it's about maybe three and a half hours, three hours. Yeah. So, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I'm yeah. off tomorrow, so I'm okay. What do you think about the sound of it? Uh, it's like I was telling Ken earlier, um, you know, I've worked on plenty of G80s, uh, G8Xs. I've heard all different types of exhaust from a full Meister shaft to a full, dang, I forgot what it's called, what's it called? Valtronic. Valtronic, full Valtronic, full titanium. And uh, this, by far, hands down, is the best sounding one in my opinion. Um, so shout out to AWE, you guys killed it in my opinion. And what, it, what I like about it too is that it's a nice deep tone to yeah, it. Yeah, most definitely. John, what yeah. do you think? Sounds great. Best G80 sound that I've heard personally. Yeah. Nice and deep. The burbles are like on point. It's not too much. It's just like, it's what we wanted the, the F8X to sound like, pretty much. <laughs> we, we heard a bunch out of uh, Invasion this past year and it, none of them sound like this. Yeah, so no. this sounds the best so far. Yeah, so if you guys are definitely gonna be doing this exhaust setup, definitely get the mid pipe. It's a game changer. So I'm gonna continue the rest of this video tomorrow or the day after and get some more exhaust clips. So stay tuned. I wanna thank them too. That's the GOAT. <laughs> That's the GOAT. And I want to thank John for helping out today. He's he up all a lot today. So he has some behind the scenes footage that you guys see in, on a future video. But um, as you can tell, I'm pretty tired and I got the long drive back home. All right, since the last time I picked up this camera, a lot has changed. And in that video, you guys saw that Ben was able to assist me with installing the AWE mid pipe onto this current setup. And it just livens the car up a lot. Like you can actually feel the exhaust in uh, the cabin, um, the more of a rumble. Um, I still have to code out the fake exhaust noise because that is kind of taken away from the whole experience. It amplifies it itself, but you can definitely tell there's a fake exhaust uh, tone to it in the cabin. But overall, I'm very happy with how it sounds. We were there pretty late in uh, Orlando. So what I'm really excited about is that we're gonna be able to hear um, exactly what this car sounds like with a different setup. Uh, currently right now, as you guys heard in the beginning of the video, I have the stock downpipes, AWE, uh, mid pipe, and along with their switch pad. And I think it sounds amazing. Um, what I like about it too, it amplifies the stock burbles, especially when you're on Swore Plus. Um, but in this video, we're gonna continue exactly with what the mid pipe actually does. We're gonna get some driving clips inside and um, we'll see how it sounds for you guys. So one of the best things about having the AWE switch path is that having the option of closing the valves. So I'm actually able to open and close the valves as I choose. And also now since I moved into a house, I don't wanna annoy my neighbors. So I'm definitely gonna be using the closed valve um, option a lot. Um, and it's something that right now the valves are closed, but in a little bit, we're gonna open the valves up um, early in the video, you heard the valves open, so I'm gonna open up again and just to show you guys exactly what it sounds like on the high. All right, so we are in Sport Plus, and basically M2 mode, and I'm on sixth gear, I'm a downshift. I'm gonna go to fifth, I'm going to fourth. You can hear all the rocks kicking my window. Thank God it's PPF, but uh, as you can see, or here, that sounds pretty good. That sounds really good. I need to lock this in, but I can't. I'm on the highway. Uh, but you can definitely hear the car. You hear the burbles. It sounds a lot more aggressive. So when I get to another area where I can do a pull, uh, I'll do it for you guys. I don't know man, 
I'm telling you guys, like, okay, it's cool to have the ZF8 speed, the extra horsepower and everything, but I'm gonna have to do a full video about it, the manual transmission of why I think this is the choice for me, but I think it's amazing. That was a lot of fun. And that's just the engagement you get from a manual transmission. You get to run through the gears. But we're gonna do one more pull because we're just about to get to the next video shoot. But other than that, after that next pull, I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned. 3,000 RPMs. Second gear chirps hard. Second gear chirps really hard. Other than that, I'm enjoying this car. We're gonna make it a lot better. Um, but I will see you guys on the next video.